On a bright sunny day, a carriage was passing by the street of London. A very excited girl looked out from the carriage. The girl's name was Sarah Crew. Sarah lived with her father, Captain Crew, for many years in India and came back to England for school. The carriage arrived at the school. Miss Minchin, the headmaster, was waiting for them in front of the school. Headmaster, this is my daughter Sarah. Please take good care of her for me. Father entrusted his daughter with her and left for India once again. Sarah stayed at the school dormitory. Captain Crew had donated a great deal of money to the school, and Sarah was given a nice room. She was shy and lonely at first, but soon made many friends. Sarah was kind and gentle to everyone, and always had great stories to tell. Whenever she told stories of India, she found herself surrounded by many friends. As she grew more and more popular, Lavinia became jealous. Sarah also became close with a housekeeper named Becky. Becky was the same age as Sarah, but she was too poor to attend the school. Sarah invited Becky to her room and shared her foods and even gave her a birthday gift. Miss Minchin advised Sarah that she shouldn't be friendly with the servants, but Sarah was kind and friendly to everyone. It was Sarah's 12th birthday. The headmaster threw a birthday party in honor of Sarah. Sarah and her friends ate delicious treats and chatted. Then the headmaster gave Sarah a letter from India. It was terrible news about her father. It said that the father that Sarah had missed so dearly had passed away. The headmaster took away all of Sarah's belongings and kicked her out of her room. Sarah, you are now an orphan since your father is gone. Children, the party is over, so go back to your rooms. The headmaster said to crying Sarah. Your father's diamond mine has been ruined and your father has died. So, you are no longer a student at this school. You should work here to pay your debts. The headmaster took everything away from Sarah and kicked her out of her room. Sarah stayed in the cold, dark attic and became a servant. Becky comforted Sarah, who worked very hard. Despite losing everything in one day, Sarah was still kind and gentle. Even when she was hungry, Sarah gave the piece of silver she found to another hungry child. Then one day, after working hard all day, Sarah came back to her room and found a monkey. 
The monkey that lived next door had climbed into Sarah's room through the window. Oh, you are such a cute monkey. Then Sarah heard someone calling for the monkey in Indian. Hello, sir. The monkey is in here. She answered in Indian. The surprised Indian man looked out the window and said, How can you speak Indian? It's so nice to meet someone I can talk to. The two soon became good friends. Then one day, the Indian man went into Sarah's attic when the room was empty to find his monkey. I can't believe that girl lives in such a cold, dark room. The Indian man sighed. From that day on, Sarah's room was always warmed up and delicious foods were prepared. Sarah was very surprised and had no idea who was behind all this. One day, a gift was delivered to Sarah. The headmaster thought that Sarah might become rich again. The headmaster told Sarah that she could study again the next day at school. Sarah was confused. Sarah went to the bed by the window with the monkey shivering from the cold. The next day, Sarah went next door to return the monkey. The Indian man was happy to see Sarah and took her to his master. So this is the little girl that took care of our monkey. Did you like the tokens of appreciation? The kind gentleman smiled brightly as he asked. So. You are the one who has been giving me the food? Thank you so much. Sarah answered with a surprised look on her face. By the way, what is your name, little girl? My name is Sarah Crew. Crew? Are you Captain Crew's daughter by any chance? Indeed. Do you know my father? The gentleman hugged Sarah. The gentleman was a good friend of Sarah's father. I have been searching for you. After your father passed away, many diamonds were excavated from the mines. Much of it is yours. The gentleman became Sarah's guardian. Headmaster Minchin found out about Sarah's fortune and asked her to come back to school. But Sarah refused. Sarah did not want to attend a school where only the rich were liked and the poor were treated badly. Sarah and Becky went to live in the gentleman's house. When the carriage left for her new home, she bade farewell. Goodbye, Minchin School. Only days full of happiness awaited Sarah.